today I'm going to show you one of my favorite little tools in Canva called Copy Style. It is a small little tool but packs such a punch when it comes to optimizing your workflow. So I'm going to show you two ways in how you can use it and uh, yeah, just follow along and have fun. Okay. So this is uh, the Copy Style tool in Canva. Um, here is something on the right hand side that we will recreate. So just imagine that you have a beautiful graphic, um, vector graphic where you can apply your own branding and colors to it, but you want to do it in a much quicker way. So, so you don't have to sit there and click through, change the colors every time. You just got to do it once, use this copy style tool, and then phew, magic appears so you can have all of your assets in the same brand colors that you have chosen. So what can you use the copy style tool for? You can copy elements, you can copy charts, you can copy the page that you've designed in Canva, and also any text and textiles that you may have. And so if you do have some brand colors ready to go, uh, you can change the color of your graphic and then apply the copy style tool and it would just align it very neatly and seamlessly. So in saying this, let's open up Canva and we're going to find the collection of these really cute stamps. So if you go into elements and in the search bar, type in Canva world travel stamp all stuck together. It will lead you to this beautiful collection of lovely stamps. So feel free to pick a couple, pick a couple that you like. I'm just gonna pick a few here now. I'm just gonna space it around. Yep, here you go, another one. Now, let's say you have a new brand in color. Okay, so let's start a new. Ignore my current brand colors here. But let's say, let's play around with some colors and just create. Let's use Amanda LXD colors. For this one, I'm going to keep it like a pale orange. I'm going to play around the color palette. Whatever that may look like for you, go for it pink I'm gonna do purple and yellow I'm gonna do green okay once you've aligned your colors played around with it and you know what you like on this panel here there's copy style you can click that icon click it and so what it's doing now it's it's selected all of the colors that you've chosen inside this graphic and then you can just click it to your new graphic and it will paste that style over Another way that you can do it is right clicking that graphic, copy style or control alt C, click that and then click it into your image and you can just keep on doing that like bam. And so now it is your branding colors. So I'm going to copy that, paste it back here because now this is my new branding colors. But that is the first example of how you can use the copy style. Now. I'm going to show you one of my new current obsessions in terms of the graphic design style called Duotone. And I have been on a rampage on Pinterest just looking at Duotones. And I want to show you how to recreate this Duotone effect in Canva and also use the copy style tool to paste it into a series of graphics. So let's say you are designing a poster we can recreate something similar. So for example, let's use um, this lovely girl here, this graphic as a reference image. So I'm just going to print screen this. I'm just going to go into a new page and let's just use this as a reference graphic new page so first and foremost I'm going to start with a background so let's do a similar bright vibrant green great 
And now I'm going to start placing my images in here. So if you have, let's say I'm going to type in, ah, here you go. Portrait Mail Tech Company. Okay. I'm going to grab this guy's graphic. And I love Canva's magic recommendation. It just recommends me all the portraits that I need. So I'm going to select see all. And I am going to go into the three dots and view collection. So I'm going to view all of these people. So I'm going to remove him now because I want people in portrait, not landscape. So I'm going to repick him in this style. I'm going to pick this girl here. Let's just reduce the size so we can add more graphics in. Um, let's use the, her as a graphic as well. I'm going to scroll down, see what other visuals they may have. This lovely lady. And let's find another male. So here for this balance. Okay. So let's edit this graphic first. So the first thing that I'm going to do is probably remove the background. So select background remover. Now this is for Canva Pro only. So if you have Canva Pro, follow along. And what I'm going to do now is select edit and I'm going to add in the duo tone. Now the cool thing about Canva is that the effect is already there. So you can play around with the duo tone effect. I can see that she has a dark purple hue with a bit of a reflection of that green that we have. So let's play around with that. So edit, draw a tone. Let's do a custom color. So perhaps shadow is a dark purple. Um, let's do something like this. And then the highlight is that teal color. So it blends in. Not so much. Yep. Okay, great. But now I want him to pop a bit more because he's blending into the background. So let's create like a nice little outline behind him. So edit. I'm going to go to shadow and I'm going to go outline. And in this outline, I'm going to make it white. Yep. And I think that's that's great for me. All right. So now what I'm going to do is the copy style tool. So I'm going to select him as the graphic. I'm going to go up to here and select copy style. And I'm just going to click into the graphics. I'm going to right click copy style to the next graphic. So there are many ways that you can access the copy style tool. Copy style, copy style. <gasps> Amazing. So perhaps imagine this as a little leadership poster or something like that. This is the leadership team. I'm just going to align them all. Awesome. Great. And you can also add in some like really cool accents and tones. So maybe play around with the elements and add in some shapes in the background. Um, that is perhaps that deep purple that we used before. Um, let's just eyeball it. <laughs> you can send this to the back, right click, layer, send it to back. And just like. Oh, that. And then right click, layer, layer, send it to back. Um, and let's just make a fake company name. Welcome to the Leadership Academy. Select that bold. Let's play with the font as well. So we can go into effects. Maybe we do it hollow because there's already an outline. Maybe we can do a white outline. Um, let's do white outlined. So outline, white. I'm going to increase the thickness. 
similar to the thickness that we used on the people and then we can maybe make the text color oh accessibility wise no no but let's do the deep purple yeah cool beans um and that's pretty much it that's just an example of how you can use duotone as an effect for some of your assets that you may designing but have fun with it just hopefully this inspires you to use the copy style tool more and just play around with different graphic design styles okay bye